the liquid lipsticks um, in, are you kidding right now? If you want to be involved, you have to calm down. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. So today is my very first bonus video. Um, sorry, Charlie, he's on my lap, just hanging out, snuggling. I got a little helper today. So for today's video, as you guys can already tell from the title, um, I'm going to be testing out the Ulta Beauty Avengers makeup in honor of the movie coming out tonight, the big premiere, which I am not going to. Um, so I, the plan was to wear like an Avengers t-shirt, which I was trying to count on John to have because he's just that type of person. But he didn't, so he told me to wear something America-ish for this video, so this is the only American thing that I have, even remotely close, so I'm sorry, I dropped the ball on that one. So I got their highlight kit, um, which is titled Stronger Together, and it has all of the like Avenger colors on it, and then I also got their matte liquid lipstick in shade, I've got this, and it's like this pretty nude neutral color. As I always get those colors. So before I go and put any of this on, um, I can tell you exactly how much it is because I still have the receipt. I got the receipts. Um, the highlight palette was only $16 and there's four shades in there and the liquid lipstick was only $10. So not too bad. Spent $26 on stuff. So not too shabby. They also had, um, they also had a eyeshadow palette which I was going to get but I didn't I was talked out of it by my brother and fiance so I'm just gonna jump right in with the highlight um, when you open it up it there's obviously no mirror but it has like the Avengers thing and then Iron Man Captain America those are the only ones that I know on this so <laughs> Um, so there's four different shades of highlight, kind of like a pinkyish color, and then the rest are all kind of bronzy colors. Um, and they're all titled, uh, start up here, this one is called Prepared to be Amazed, this one is Become a Legend, this one is Best Never Rest, and this one is Visionary. So I will swatch all of them and then try them all on. So here are all four shades swatched, they're definitely all very pretty. Um, I went from this direction over in the which way that I um, read the names off. So yeah, they're all definitely very shimmery and I'm excited to try these on. I can definitely see wearing these, especially the summer when I get a little tan going. Yes, honey. Yes. So to be applying everything, I'm going to be using my highlighting fan that I actually got from TJ Maxx. But... I haven't used it yet since um, John did my makeup and used blush on it, so I tried to clean it off, but I haven't actually cleaned it yet, so hopefully it's not pinky, but we'll give it a shot. So first one I'm going to try out is Prepare to be Amazed, the pinky one up here. So I've actually never used um, Ulta Beauty brand before, so I don't really know what to expect going into this. However, I have already put on about, this I think is like my fifth layer, and it's not as um, shimmery as I was hoping it would be, but it's still really pretty. Like when it hits that light, it's that super pretty pink color. So that's good. Yeah, so this is like my sixth layer. You definitely have to use a lot of product. Um, but it is really pretty when it's hitting the light just right. But yeah, it is super, super pretty. I really like this color. Maybe this one just isn't as shimmery because it's such a light shade. And you can, it's making my acne flare, which I don't like. I don't like when highlights do that. Ugh, yuck. Far away, you can't see it, so that's good. All right, so that one's on. The best that I can do, I put on about six layers. You know, let's try with this end of this Huda Beauty uh, brush. It's the Bacon Blend, but I'm just gonna, we're gonna use it for what it's not for. It's more of a firm brush. Maybe it'll help. Yeah, it did a little something, but I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Whatever. 
Moving on to the other cheek, I'm going to use Become a Legend, which is this one in the top right corner. This one you can definitely see on the brush. Oh yeah, this one is a lot more shimmery than the other one. Yeah, you can even like see it here, whereas this one you can't see at all. Ooh, that one is so pretty. Oh my god, ignore my... I've been wearing this makeup all day, so... I'm sorry that it looks so bad. Um, but yeah, this one is super pretty. This will be so nice in the summer. Ooh, yes. But again, it's... You can see my acne through it, and I do not like that. But I do really like this shade. And then you can see it from far away too, which is nice. This one you can too, though. This one's more... Yeah, I like this one more for in the summer. This one I feel like is more springy, maybe wintery. For the last two shades, um, I think I'm gonna put them like up here, because I usually highlight up here as well, as well as the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. So I think I'm just gonna do that. So now I'm going in with Best to Never Rest. Wow, try saying that 10 times fast. Which is this one down here, which is like another gold. This one too, you can see on the brush. So I'm just gonna put it up here. I'm gonna have four different shades of highlights on me. Oh my god, I should just do full face of makeup with highlight one day. <gasps> Actually, that sounds kind of fun. If you guys want me to do that, let me know. Yeah, so that one's super pretty too. I really like it. These darker ones are a lot better. Like I said, I haven't used um, Ulta Beauty before. But so far, so good. The only complaint I have is this lighter one so far because you can't really see it very well, and I don't like that. I'm spending $16, I wanna see it. All right, so then the last shade is the darkest of them all, which is called Visionary, which is, I guess it's not, it's more of orangey, bronzy, which I don't know is gonna go well with my skin complexion because I'm very pale right now. Wow, that one's super dark. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my gosh, this one is very pigmented. It looks like bronzer. Like, where does my bronzer stop and where does it start? Who knows? Who but see this one too, you can see my acne. I mean, this is a very, very pretty shade. However, I don't like it on my forehead, so I will not use it there ever again. Um, Yeah, this is definitely more, I feel like, when I'm super tan which will be like Labor Day weekend. So I can use it like one day out of the whole year. So I'm gonna go ham on that one day. Yeah, this is, <laughs> those looks horrible on me. I would never ever wear that shade as a highlight. The other ones, yes, but that one is way too dark for a highlight for me. But it is really pretty if you have the right skin tone. So overall with highlight, I kind of effed myself up by, you know, putting it all over my face, but how else are you going to test it? I mean, they're all super shimmery though. This one I think I like the best, which was called Become a Legend, which was this one right here, the second one I did. So I think I like that one the best. It's, it'll go good in the summer. All right, next thing to test out is the matte liquid lipstick in the shade I've Got This. Um, super cute, has like all the Avenger stuff again on the top. Alright, so we're just gonna dive right in, I guess. Let's see first impressions. Ooh, it has a type of applicator that I like, which is good. Um, this is clear, which I guess I've never really seen before. And let's swatch this. Oh my god, that is a lot darker than it looks in the bottle. It's really pretty though, but look at how dark that is. That is a lot darker than when it looks like, I feel like. All right, let's see. It smells cheap. Okay. All right, all right. I'm just gonna put this on my lips. It's $10, so. So first impressions, I do like the color. It dries lighter than um, what I swatched on my hand. So, okay, maybe not. 
to me it looks darker on or I mean it looks lighter on I feel like but first impressions so um the applicator has like a dent in it to like curve around your lips which I've actually never seen before so I thought that was pretty cool however it's super bendy so when you put it on it like bends which feels like it's gonna break which I don't like so you can definitely tell that it's made cheaply which I don't really like however the lipstick itself dries super fast um, it doesn't it's not like tingly or anything which is great um, it's already dried and I just put it on. I don't have a glass of water next to me to test how well it stays on, so I'm just gonna... Pretty good! I kissed my hand pretty hard, so some definitely came off, but overall I think it's pretty good. Um, it doesn't smell good, it doesn't have a taste, so it's not like a Kylie one where you can eat it. Um, but yeah, for $10, I'd say it's a really pretty shade. They have a lot of shades there. So anyways, that was all that I really had for you guys today was to just test out this makeup and it's a bonus video because the movie comes out today. So I thought it'd be fun to release this today. Um, but yeah, if you are new and watching this for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and like down below. Um, once I do hit 100 subscribers, I get to do my fiance's makeup, which I'm super stoked about. So just keep liking and subscribing. I put out new videos uh, once a week on Mondays. And that's pretty much everything I have to say. So I will see you guys all next week on Monday. Mwah. Bye.